Hello everyone, welcome back to the Warhammer Battle. This is going to be a 1v1 where I am playing as the Wood Elves versus Britonia. For my army, we'll go over first. We have two Dryads, one on each flank, and then the center is being held by two Eternal Guard and then the Winterheart Guard. Behind them, I'm going to be using the Triple Way Watcher, including the Renown units, being led by an Ancient Tree Man with the Dweller spell and a Heal spell. Uh, then on each flank, we have one Tree Kin to try and absorb and uh, hold... Uh, enemy cab forces and then we also have an additional eternal guard back here and then the wardens of scythril over here which are a pretty good anti-large sundering our uh, unit as well for the bretonians we have a vanguard deployed wardens of montfort who i've shot a couple rounds at with our uh, way watchers wasn't intentional i meant to actually take them off fire because i didn't want to actually hit these guys but oh well we did and then the main line over here we have three battle pilgrims and then three spearmen at arms one here here and here we have two men at arms here and here a foot squire and then we have three peasant bowmen with fire arrows we have a grail relic paladin being led by a bretonian lord with the heal spell or not heal spell but the healing potion and the uh vigor potion i believe that one is and then off in the side we have the knights of the lionhearted and a grail knight and that's it they did not bring a caster in this battle I have not used the Ancient Tree Men in months, but since the Dweller spell has been upgraded by a fair amount, I was like, well, let's give it a shot. So I'm going to try and take these woods right over here. So we're going to get our front line, I think about the edge of it, and then we're going to have our archers right behind. And I think I, when the, these knights, like right now when they're poking out of the forest, I think that's when I'm going to move the Wardens of Scythril. I should be moving them over here instead. Because I'm not seeing any cav over here besides these Wardens of Maltfoot. We're going to get close enough, and we're going to be revealed here to the point where the um, archers with the fire arrows are going to be able to shoot at us briefly here soon. But I'm keeping my eyes on these two boys over here. These bad boys. Because they're scary. You can see they are moving in closer, so we're going to try and unleash a salvo or two on them. But they're pretty quick, they react pretty fast. Meanwhile, we have the Warrens of Moffat over here doing some damage to the Dryads. I think I maybe start shooting them again here in a moment. With the Wave Watchers. Wave Watchers ammo is pretty precious, because uh, there's not much of it. But I'm like, well, I don't want these guys to just sit there and shoot me for free. So we're going to do a salvo or two. Do a lot of damage to these Warrens of Moffat. And then the enemy player is going to try and move all of their infantry into this part of the forest. I am kind of shadowing them a little bit, but then I'm like, you know what? Actually, I'm going to pull back into this forest, and we're just going to try and skirmish a little bit. Most of my warriors have shields in front so they can absorb a lot of fire. But yeah, I want to make sure that we can't just get charged by their knights out here. I want to make sure that they're nice to charge into a forest. I want to try and force the enemy to my position. Uh, so right now you can see that the three peasant bowmen are tightly clumped. Um, and just trying to fire into my tree can, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we're going to send a round back at them. And then the Warrens of Moffat are going to be coming up my right and trying to threaten my Dryads. I'm going to attach my Dryads to them, attach them, or um, send an attack order from the Dryads to try and chase them off. And then I'm going to be like, well, you know what? There's a lot of units clumped up right here, and maybe the enemy is more concerned about what's going on back here now, trying to keep them away from my Dryads. So we're going to do a Dweller spell. It's also in the forest, so it's a little harder to see if they're not really paying attention. So we're just going to nail all this this battle pilgrim and then these three peasant bowmen. And holy shit, man. And then that's when the enemy is going to be like, well, I guess I should charge then. So I'm going to be able to keep my position in the woods. We have the Wards of Scythe right here and then the Eternal Guards right here. I'm actually going to switch these. I'm going to put the Winterheart because I meant to keep the Winterheart up here for its uh, leadership aura. And I'm going to pull the Wardens back here soon. I think I also pull off my second tree can to go over here and then the dryad to go over here as well because there is literally nothing threatening my right flank at this point and the warrens right back here I, I hit them a couple more times with my archers and so they have been really uh, really just really weakened now here come the battle pilgrims we're going to take this charge here come the spearmen at arms and then the grill knight and knights of the lionheart are going to come back over here right now I'm trying to send my archers into a position where they can actually start firing on them again because I really want to knock those two out now we have a Treekin and the Eternal Guard up here. I'm going to throw in again, like the Winterheart Guard and these Dryads as well. We're throwing in the Treemen as well to try and kill some of these Holy Wardens. And then there go our three Waywatchers on the Knights of the Lionheart because they're in range first. I'm going to try and pull my Winterheart Guard and the Wardens of Scythril over here. I'm, this one I'm also going to pull my uh, Secondary Dryad over here and then my Secondary Treekin over here as well. 
Because again, the tree can I wanted in this battle to just to try and hold these guys in the place. But we got some good damage on the nice Lionhearted. Meanwhile, the Ancient Tree Man did cast a brief heal spell over here to keep these units up a little bit longer. But I am going to detach him from this battle and go towards the uh, Knights, who are now currently withdrawing, but they will come back. They're trying to engage my anti cav force with a man at arms, so I'm going to try and engage the man at arms with the tree can. I believe also the dry is that are moving over here. And there goes Tree Man. I'm going to do another Awakening of the Wood over here because I can see that more units are coming in to try and reinforce. So if they want to come in and reinforce, well, I'm going to kill them for it then. So we're doing some good damage to their frontline fighters. Not really doing much to my own. That wasn't nearly as good as the first one because I didn't cover their entire army because I didn't want to kill mine at the same time. But still, it did some damage. And now we're going to try and support this Cav battle. We're going to throw in the Ancient Tree Man. We're doing another heal spell over here to keep our front healed up and as much as we can. Way Watchers did a lot of damage to these Knights of the Lionhearted, and now they're pulling back a little bit. I want to try and give them a clear angle of fire, and so that they're not going to be blocked by trees. But then I stop. Listen, this is my thought process. I'm like, you know what? I, I really want to get you guys in a clear line of fire, and then I'm like, ah, never mind. And then here comes the Bretonian Lord, finally. They're going to obviously try and go after my uh, Way Watchers, so we're going to start firing on him on his way down. Start doing some separation here and here, so he doesn't kind of get all of them at once. And then the player is just going to leave the game at that point their front line um they're still at some units left but it was really weakened they are knights of line harder work on the grill knights were still relatively full but um i don't like i i think that battle was basically uh, over but it would have taken a lot longer and they still had a fully healed bretonian lord who could most likely kill a tree man or ancient tree man in combat especially since he still had the uh health potion but uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this battle. So good game to Tomato Sauce. Awakening of the Wood. Somehow only getting 15 kills. I guess we just did so much HP damage with that spell with the... Uh, not Awakening of the Wood. Uh, with Dwellers from Below. And didn't actually get the final kill counts on the models because we only got 15. Uh, but you can see most of my army was still relatively healthy. I applied two heals to my front line, keeping them up and operational. Uh, we did lose three models of Tree Can. I believe that was the one against all the battle pilgrims. Or maybe that was the one facing off against the Ground Knights and the Knights Line Heart. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Uh, but for the Bretonians, their Ground Knights did some damage. Their uh, battle pilgrims here did some damage. But yeah, they, they just got... Listen, the Dweller spell is really powerful, just like Winds of Death is, if you do not move away from it. So, they unfortunately got caught in it uh, twice. The first one, though, that was the devastating one that took out all their peasant bowmen. Uh, but anyway, again, good game to Tomato Sauce. Hope you enjoyed. Let's watch the cinematic view. The elves are in their element here. And that element is firing arrows into trees. It's really weird how they're buffed in trees with movement speed and accuracy, but yet, like, you never really want to fire in a forest because, like, the trees are blocking your stuff. It's a really weird buff. The movement speed is appreciated, but, like, the accuracy... I, I guess the shots that make it through the trees will... more likely to hit. Hey, what up, buddy? Stand ready. like more than 15 models dropped. Weird. I guess it didn't count.
Wanted to try and brunt their charge with the tree pin here. Right here, the Grail Knights or the Knights of Lionhearted, I think they're both just trying to pull through my all my spears and get into my Waywatchers. I think it's what's happening right here. So they're not even really doing much damage, they're just getting hit for free. And that's when they're going to end the game. See, so yeah, like, there's sometimes you can force your way through a single unit, especially as a you know heavy cat force. But man, with Shrieken and uh, Eternal Guard and the Wardens there, like three units you're trying to get through, that's a lot. And they're just going to continually hit you as you try and pull through. It's just that's going to be kind of devastating. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the battle, everybody. I will see you all next time. Take care.